we're here and now. It's gonna happen. Chaz, are you with me? No. Okay. Well, too bad, because guess what? It's the final episode. What? It's episode the... 14. Yeah, episode 14. Well, it, it's gonna be labeled the finale, because guess what? We're gonna, we're gonna resolve all the issues today. First, Firstly... Um, like I didn't show the Chimera off really well, because the angle was pretty hard. But lo and behold, guess what? We're gonna comes. fight some Chimeras in this room. Cool. It doesn't help that uh, I don't have a good angle, but there you go. You can kind of see it here. It's kind of scary. Oh yeah, it's God, pretty, it's pretty, pretty terrifying. You kind of see the whole humid and fly bits to it. One time I had a human fly. What what was it from the fly? No. It's a different fly. It was more human than fly. So uh, Oh my god. Yeah. Look at them. They they just they really try to ruin your day. They got the fly butt. Yes, they do. There I got him. I got him. His wings are too small. Yeah, well, I mean, it's that human DNA in the size. I think there's... A, there might be another one. They die just instantly. You don't have to set them on fire. Yeah, they kind of they kind of have the Resident Evil 4 death. Which I'm fine with. How am I doing on health? You're in caution. Hmm... I'd say kill this thing. And then maybe kill it. Oh, I got him. I got him. Now, it's important to clear out this room. That's that's why I'm kind of going around killing these things. Because we are going to need this. Oh, it's in red. It is in red. But uh, the thing is, it's empty. Oh. So we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry. They did say a thing. We're going to have to worry about it. Then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be annoying. Okay, let's see. I'm running low on bullets, but that's okay. We're gonna have to... We Well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna fight some chimeras in this upcoming room. You're gonna kill them all. Well, I'm gonna try. This room is very red. They're kind of fast, aren't they? Yeah. I mean... As you can see, they don't really have, like, a lot of endurance... Or defense, but yeah. they are indeed make up for it their, with their stature and their speed and the fact that, you know, they they claw. Uh, you're, you're doing alright for being hit a few times. Yeah. They also have a lot of healing items and I'm not afraid to use them. We got... We took care of that. I, I want to do that. Man, oh man, it it does serve a purpose, by the way. There's a reason what? why I want to do this. It might not be known quite why, but trust me when I say this, it does serve a purpose. Also, uh, okay, that getting hit instantly refilled. Oh, whoa! Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's two of them. So, like this is their house, and you just come in it. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I... One Whoa, thing, what I, happened to you? Oh, he grabbed me. Are you gonna get... Killed? No, I used a defensive item. Oh, okay. Taking care of him. I think there's one more. Could be wrong. Oh. I might be okay. I might be okay. This is good. No, there's another one. You can't fool me, I heard it. There he is, by the door. Yep. And I'm just gonna use this. They try to fool me, man. I, I killed it. They do make a sound when they die. That's that's how I know that they killed it. Chaz can't hear that, so I'm explaining this. I can't this. hear anything. Yeah. I'm explaining this to him. When they, when they 
die, they make a sound. So that's how you know. And with that said, I am I am done with handgun. No more handgun? No more handgun for the rest of the game. But again, this is the finale, so I guess you could kind of expect when I'm... Let's just take a moment to think of all the good times we had with the handgun. Um, nah, that, that's it. Chimeras. <laughs> Let's think about um, all the good times. Yep, that, that's all the good times. <laughs> Already uh, done. Didn't put up a montage or anything, just... That was handgun, I'm good. Now we have a shotgun. Now we have shoddy. Shoddy, shoddy has better moments. But I'm not gonna do a montage for shoddy either, because... It would take too long. It would, yeah. It's kind of this is not like a killing game, it's like a... It's, it's really like more about the horror survival, but the thing is, you know, it's like, I'm at the end of the game. Who cares? Now is the time to really use everything. You collected all the money, all the weapons. Yeah. And all the, all the, uh, all the loot. Now I can, now I can just save ride that sweet sweet retirement wave did you know that wave is made of chocolate oh that sounds absolutely sweet you know it's funny today I made some tea yes because I like tea but the yeah. thing is I like I like sweet I like sweet sweet is my personal flavor when it comes to anything I would say it's mine as well because I, I like sweet sweet is good but the problem is, you figure nothing can be too sweet. And then I made some tea today, and I had I had some vanilla almond milk. I had some honey to that, um, mm. but it wasn't unsweetened vanilla. Uh, vanilla said... almond milk, or yeah, yeah, almond milk. So uh, it it came out way too sweet. So I was like, oh man, <laughs> I didn't think this could happen. It happened. All the green lights are on. Yeah, we we've unlocked it. Uh, before I do what I need to do, which is actually, I need to look at this. Ooh. Because that's where you refill the, um, the canister we have. But, you know, I realize I'm actually going to need to... Was there something on that chair? Yeah, it was an engraving. Oh, I'll have to collect that, too. But the thing is, um... I don't want to do that quite yet. Because I want to do this. You want to see this. I want to see this. What's behind the door? Um. Now, two two of the MO discs were here, but the third one that we got was actually from the tiger puzzle. Is it Joseph? Is Joseph behind the door? <laughs> um, uh, I mean, maybe. I hope he is. Oh, He's, you, you oh, want Joseph? Party. I thought Joseph died. This is a lot if he's at the birthday party. <laughs> this is this is the this is the birthday party. This is party. the actual this is where the this, birthday this party is, is. This is it's the descent into the birthday party. It's in this room. Happy birthday. <gasps> Chris. Oh my god. Yeah. It is a birthday. Chris, Wesker's the I know. <sighs> I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. See, I knew I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Jill's in jail. Jill's in jail. She is not the master of unlocking. And Wesker is the I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That whole Alex Wesker, that was just me being stupid. I mean, I mean, Chris hasn't said anything, so uh, I don't know well, what you're talking about. It's Alex Wesker. If you didn't read that thing, would he still know? Uh, you know, the funny thing is, in that whole entire thing, like the, the one photograph with all the researchers... Yeah. Uh, you figure Chris would say, I can't believe it, or he'd, like, comment on it, right? Yeah. He doesn't. He didn't comment on anything. And I mean, everything's going to be revealed. Sorry if that's a little bit of a spoiler, but everything's going to be revealed in due time. They already kind of revealed it, so yeah. <sighs> but I mean, like, actual cinematic review reveal. Oh, he's going to be like... <laughs> By the way, running could result in a fatal explosion, so you know what we so have, you have to, to do? walk? Yeah. Ah! Oh. I know, I wasn't looking forward to this. This is why I saved. I saved off-screen. 
because I was like, you know, I haven't, I haven't messed this up. You know what? It said it may. Just run. No, because may and fatal usually indicates that uh, it will. But the reason, the walk? reason, yeah. Why? Why? At, What's the point? They're just wasting your time. Because nitroglycerin. Or nitro compound. This is the same garbage that they used in GTA. Oh, don't drive too fast or the car's gonna explode. Oh, I remember that. That Yeah. Actually, <laughs> oh man. I guess I should plug in my LP of GTA 3. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to pay attention to these videos to make sure I actually put cards. By the way, if anyone wants to, like, just like hit me up with a comment saying hey you didn't you didn't link that one pro that that lp you did i had to go to the, your channel your dumb gildum i'd be like oh th thanks for reminding me god this is so far yeah well i mean it's not it's still at the same time and if, there was, if there was enemies you'd be screwed i know that's why i actually cleared them <laughs> out remember how there was like three chimeras here yeah Aren't you glad that I just took the liberty of clearing them out? I probably would have died too, considering if you run, you die. What? Or if you run, you die, but if they hit you, do you die? Because Probably. If you fire your gun, you probably die also. So far away. Yeah, now we can we run. To... Now oh, we can God. run. Yeah. Um. Again, I don't know. I just took the liberty of walking, and also I was gonna say the reason that's hard is because I can't, I can't basically tilt the joystick all the way. You have to make it partially. That's yeah, annoying. and so you know, the whole controlling the joystick in that situation kind of sucks because it's like yeah. I don't know if this is gonna be too much or just enough. How are we gonna save Jill? Uh, oh, you'll see. You blow up the door. Uh, you know, I was wondering if that's why you need the substance to do, but... No, we actually need the substance to do a thing. In this room. Mm. And there are chimeras. As you can see, there's... I see that. Yeah. Are you gonna blast them? No. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna start this up. I think this is why we need the fuel. Because it runs oh, the rocket. elevator. Like, they're pissed, but the thing is, they don't actually follow you into the next room over, which... Honestly, I feel like that's something that the programmer should have done, because we already seen that they can travel through those vents right there. Well, they're, they, they're more, like, territorial. They're just mad that you... Maybe. They don't really care about this room. Maybe. Possibly. It's no skin off of my bones, though, because, you know what, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, they're not even going to take I'm not even going to fight any of the enemies. All I'm going to do now is bosses. That's right. We S. do have a final boss. It's going to be me. It's I'm been alluded to several times. I'm the final boss. I mean, you say that, but... I've already died in like 20 parts ago, so... <laughs> what you say, I... Chaz? You've been infected with the T-Virus? No, I was the hunter. You were... Oh, right, right. But, but you're dead. I know, I'm dead. I forgot about that. Alright, I don't need this ink ribbon. I just collected it because, uh... OC tendencies. I get, I get obsessive and compulsive about these kinds of things, but you know what? Sometimes it's unfortunate. I didn't collect every item. I wish I did. I collected one of the items. I didn't collect any item but one. Okay, so Chaz. Yeah. You want to know what's gonna happen once I press the switch and we go up? Uh, it's the birthday party I've been waiting for. <laughs> You've been waiting a long time. Rebecca. Chris. She's back. I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. But it didn't put a space between more and following. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe you saw a typo. You saw it. Rebecca's Lapis. with us now. Hi, Rebecca. Are Hi, you gonna Rebecca. shoot stuff? 
Uh, I mean, she's following us. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of enemies for her to shoot because we're we're at this area. I'm taking the shotgun shells, you know. Mm, double shotgun. Yeah. Well, get get myself some bullets to fire. Fire what? That's a great question. Man, oh man. I haven't seen Wesker in a while. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No. Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Ooh, Wesker! Freak. Come on, you test tube freak! Yeah. Well, welcome to the tyrant. All right. Well, everybody's dead, but Chris. I mean, um, you say that like it's a bad thing. Well, actually, Jill's alive. Oh yeah, she's in jail. Man, this guy does not care about your. Oh uh, well, it's the tyrant. It's the ultimate life form. You are shooting him with a shotgun in a fairly enclosed space. He does not care about that. He, he doesn't. He really doesn't. Except, uh, we, we killed it. Wow, he's kind of weak. <laughs> well, you know, that's what happens when you circle and dodge and also Rebecca. She's dead. <laughs> Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Yeah, Rebecca's fine. She just is gonna have a heck of a... heck of a bruise. Yeah. Also, we got a... What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Actually, he... I like that scene where Chris is laughing. I feel like that's an homage to the original with the really bad dialogue. <laughs> But observation notes. So, so who wants to be Wesker here? You're Wesker. I'm Wesker. Okay. The discovery of the G virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the prim primogenitor virus. Well, there's the progenitor virus. Yeah. Uh, and the G virus. That's the Resident Evil 2, by the way. Oh. Allow me to explain some of these things. So, the G virus has to do with William Birkin 
which is a person in Resident Evil 2 that kind of gets announced. Uh, by the way, this was not in the original. They didn't have any of this planned in the original, so this doesn't exist in the in the original Resident Evil. But yeah, um, uh, the progenitor virus. I don't know if that's. I I wonder if that's a typo. But yeah, basically the progenitor virus was in Resident Evil Zero uh -huh. with James Marcus, who was one of the founders of Umbrella, along what? with Spencer E. Oswald and. Uh, or no, I sorry, that just like Oswald E. Spencer. There we go. Uh, James Marcus and uh, Alex Ashford, I think. Three founders of Umbrella. There you go. The prototype parasite, which was which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered in the. Se I think that actually was in a Resident Evil game, but I forget which one because I, I can't remember. Uh, it might have had to deal with Resident Evil 3 with Nemesis. Because I remember Nemesis is a type of tyrant, but they they did something weird with him. I don't, I, I don't remember Resident Evil 3 too much, but uh, administer sa sample what specimen took in the parasite without any... Sh yeah, whatever. There you go. Uh, the lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years then from the incubating state the prototype suddenly mutated evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it this observation gave me more insight in my research through further modifications and testing it was able to derive a method to create the G that suppressed the performance of the T uh, so T stands for tyrant. So they're talking about yeah. G. So okay, I guess I should explain how the tyrant and and the G virus works just a little bit without trying to get this confusing. So the tyrant virus, yeah, can turn anyone into a tyrant, but. It, it ha there has to be a specific genetic makeup of the person for them to become a tyrant. If you don't yeah. have that, you'll become a zombie. So, as I like to describe it, becoming a tyrant is like winning the the T virus lottery. It's like winning the lottery. If you if you all your DNA, DNA matches, it's all perfectly in line. You become a tyrant. However, the percentage is very rare, so. Most likely, you will not become a tyrant if you get infected with the T virus. Now, they did they did some experiments with the T virus, and uh, that person was William Burke, and he created the G virus. It was a different strain, and uh, much like winning the lottery with the T virus, if you win the lottery with the G virus, you become G. Oh, I, I I became a G. Uh, and William Birkin does. It's the main antagonist of Resident Evil 2, actually. Um, and, and it's really first... bizarre. I'll get more into that when I take you through that, Chaz. Or you wait can... a minute, wait a minute, wait what? a minute. I know about the G virus. The G virus? Yeah, it's like the first thing in the. Yeah, first well, that's Operation actually Arkansas. that's actually the prologue to Resident Evil 2. You don't play yeah. that, but it is shown in like a couple cutscenes. And again, I'll uh, I'll take you through Resident Evil 2's remake. But yeah. um, if you want, you can actually go see my playthrough of Resident Evil 2. You know, in a little plug-in card. There you go. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But point is that that's kind of that's kind of what happens with those two things. You know. Yeah. Uh, this was a breakthrough that would change the future of. Bio-organic weapons history. Mm. I can't wait to see the look. Oh, this was actually William Birkin's observation. Wesker just had it on hand. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. So, funny thing. Alexia, she's actually the antagonist of Resident Evil Code Veronica. 
Oh. It's Alexia Ashford, who I think... I think she's the, uh... I think she's the granddaughter of uh, Alex Ashford. Or daughter. I, I don't remember. No. I think Edward is their father. It's... Point is... Um... She becomes a researcher and she creates the T. Veronica virus. T. Veronica. And that's basically the whole thing about Resident Evil Code Veronica. And it, it, the main protagonist of that one is actually Claire. Yes. And so that that's kind of neat. It's kind of an awkward one. I might tackle it at some point. But that's neither here nor there. I'll leave that up to Chaz. We'll see. We'll see it eventually. We'll, yeah. But anyways, sorry about that. A <laughs> lot, lot of, lot of stuff, a lot of mixing and matching when it comes to the Resident Evil universe. They were trying to make it even more intertwined in this game, because a lot of it was already established and created. So now they had to be like, well, we got this plot, we got this game, we got that game, we got these antagonists. You know, this was the antagonist. That virus was created for that game, so they had to tie it all. There, it's pretty expansive. Also, they sort of retcon some of the stuff in Resident Evil 2, but, uh, like the remake. Mm -hmm. But, I guess I'll just have to wait until we get to the remake to yes. really. What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Yeah, that's right. She's going off to explode the lab and the mansion. But I was going to say, yeah, I guess we'll just wait until, you know, get into the remake when that happens. And I'll take yeah. you through that whole adventure, Chaz, just like it did with this game. Yes. You'll 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 finally understand. And you know what? You want want to want to know a fun thing, Chaz? I my friend, know. my buddy, my pal, oh mine. Yeah. We're done with shotgun. <gasps> no. We're done with shotgun. Shotgun is being retired for the rest of the game. What are we gonna bring as our weapon, though? We're gonna bring out big old bad Mr. Magnum Revolver. Ooh. It's happening. We don't need a shotgun, we need a revolver. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We big old bad Mr. Revolver. The the this gun is the best gun ever made. Hey, I like Mr. Revolver. Yeah. Do you like Camaras? No. Uh oh. What about Jill? Mm. Just hold your questions for a second. Releasing all locks. Releasing all locks. So, do you like help. Chimeras? Remember how I said I said that? They're coming for you. They they want my booty. I guess Jill can get out now. Yeah, I I'm glad you caught that little little tidbit, but yeah, that's actually how we go and rescue her. Oh, you actually have to go find her. Yeah, we actually have to go talk to her. Because, I mean, you figure she would have heard it and she'd be, like, in this hallway or something, but... No, we actually have to go all the way down here and be like, Jill, you're free. Come. It's time to go. Nemesis will come out. There he is. That's Resident Evil 3! Well, he's the door in this game. Jill, sorry I made you wait. Jill, I'm sorry I come. made you wait. Let's get out of here. Jill, I'm sorry I made you wait. Imagine if, like, the door is locked again, then they'd both be in there. Yeah, but, I mean, it's an emergency. I don't think you can really do that. Hey, Jill is here. Yeah. She's accompanying you. She is chilling with me. Here and now. She's gonna, she's gonna shoot some chimeras. 
Uh, actually, no. Let's get going. She she runs on ahead without us. Thanks for nothing, Jill. Well, I mean, it's okay. We're we're basically done. If you want to know, there's not much to explore from here on out. We have to go back to um, what's her face's hut. What's her face? Yeah. Rebecca. Mama. No, the bad, scary girl. Uh, Lisa? Yeah, you gotta go there. Her hut. No. Why do I need to go back to her hut? Let's see. You can sleep in the warm bed. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Gross! Ew! No! She's, she's dead now, so it's not like she's gonna kill you. I mean, I guess that's possible, but no, I, I, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm good. Alright, well, suit yourself. Up the stairs you go. Yeah, up the stairs you go. Remember, remember this door? Also, I can't interact with Jill, she just kind of stands there like a goon, but remember this door? Remember I had said first class emergency or something along those lines? Oh, uh, yeah. Now I can open it. No, I guess it is a class emergency. Yeah, first class. Oh, uh, look at all the goodies that you just left. Running out of fuel. That was a good observation, Chaz. Look at all these goodies. You know, I almost ran off because I didn't. Um, I'm pretty well stocked. Also, I need one inventory slot. Oh, okay. Uh, we got shotgun shells. We got health. I don't need any of that. I'm fine without any of that. That's gonna drive me mad, though, because... Mm. <laughs> you know what? We're, we're this far. I'm gonna beat the game. I'm gonna do it right here, right now. Take the fuse unit. I need, I, you know, I feel like they could have been more creative with it, because literally they leave it right there only to use it right here. <laughs> it's like, what's the point? Uh, all right, three, three minutes, minutes to detonation. detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Those girls are gonna. They're going. They're leaving me. They're gonna go take care of those things. Yeah. So. Um. So you know, things are a little too convenient right now in terms of items and what you need. That oh, that was one moment. example. Okay. We have a timer. Yeah, we do have a timer. Three minutes. Well, that could have just... That whole scene right there could have just not happened. Yeah. Also, this. Signal rockets. Left right here on the platform. Oh. The, really nice case, but yeah, just, just right here, right now, you know, you just use them. Just, just out in the open. Boy, that really is convenient, don't you think? Oh, the elevators come up. It's... Chris! You okay? Yeah. I heard. Uh oh. Oh my god, I knew this was too easy. Yeah. Well, Jill's dead. <laughs> well, Rebecca's gonna die again. Nope, not if I have anything. Oh, he's pissed. He's, oh, he about face. He's fast now. That's, that's he about face. He's like, oh, nope, psych. I shot I him in the girl. butt, and he didn't like that, apparently. No, he did not. Well, Jill is dead, unfortunately. I mean, you say it. He's just standing like a goon. He doesn't care anymore. He, he, he all his energy. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. Oh, that, you know, the funny thing is, I was just like, what, what, why is he standing like a goon? Oh, you're gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Chris, use Here it! comes a rocket Kill launch. it, whatever it is! There we go, Fi final little tidbit, just need to grab this. Who the heck said that? That was, uh, Brad. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, you have four shots, you better not miss. Oh, yeah. 
dead. So what if you miss? You have three more chances. What if you miss all of them? Uh, I think you just have to take them down the normal way. Wow. I think that's a possibility. And that's why I ship Jill and Chris. That's why a lot of people ship Jill and Chris. Because she sleeps on his shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> well, also, they're really good partners. Um, this, this is something that gets emphasized in Resident Evil 5. But, yes, the, the fact that she sl her head sleeps on his shoulder. What about when Chris... Pats Rebecca on the shoulder. It was more friendly. It, it was like, you're in the friend zone now. <laughs> I have Jill, why do I need you? Um, Rebecca's a medic. Rebecca is a medic. But you know the thing about Jill's playthrough is? She doesn't sleep on Chris's arm? No, no, no. Um, Jill has Barry supporting her oh, she's her on endeavors. Barry's arm. Bar Barry is a fire, fire arms man expert. Where was he this whole game? Uh, not, not, not here. Also, a lot of these scenes we didn't get to see because we were playing as Chris. Yeah. Man, oh man. Well. Oh, here's the right doctor. Hey, look Hi at this. Anderson. Now you can see everybody who voiced everyone. Chucky Sibaraki. Peter Zinda. Nova. Nova. Link's digital work. Man, yes, so this was Resident Watch. Evil. I thought it was a pretty good game. I, I like the remake. I thought they did a fantastic job. I don't know what you thought, Chaz. I know you're not too familiar with the Resident Evil. I hope this kind of was like a good starting point for you, though. I've played two Resident Evil games as of this point. <laughs> but I mean, now now you know more about the series. Now you actually have a good introductory to Chris, what happens. You did a fine job. Results. Wesker just said, "Chris, you did a fine job." Eighty-two kills. Uh, not not fantastic. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to have a legit playthrough ink ribbon use would be zero health items use would also be zero that's the sign of a master used... i didn't realize you used that many ink. yeah probably ammo use would be extremely low because you'd be running from everything and also playtime would be also really low because you'd speed run the whole entire thing but i was just doing an average playthrough and also you know, when when you're going with someone who has no idea about the series, you gotta go step by step. You gotta you gotta ease them into it. That's why Plus I was trying. I like shooting. Yeah, I like shooting things. Yeah, and you know, I was doing that with you, Chaz, because we had we had to have the information and put it into your brain. You know, it's Resident Evil. Oh, you got a new costume. Yeah, we got the closet key. We had to find the dressing room. But you can mm. unlock alternate costumes for everybody. I'm not going to show that. that that's for you, the myself. viewers, to do if you decide to play this game. I know I probably up. didn't do a great job saying, hey, you should try this for yourself. But, you know, if you want to see what those awesome costumes are, you can totally do it. In all reality, though, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end off this series. Like, this has been Resident Evil. If you want to see a Jill playthrough, I actually did the original game as Jill. You had Barry in that whole entire playthrough. Chaz wasn't there. No. I don't think... Uh, I'm trying to decide. Did, did we know each other at that point? We might have. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. That was like my fourth playthrough. It was pretty early into everything. But, 
you know, it is what it is. Uh, this was just a Chris run because, you know, I wanted to mix it up. wanted to do Chris this time. Um, it, was, it, was, it was worth it. It was worth it, yeah. I will say this. If we do Resident Evil 2, the remake, because I'm pl I, I want to do it. I want to take you through that. I will watch. Uh, we will actually do both scenarios. Who has both of the lads? Because there are some significant differences playing through it. Uh, unlike in the original the, of Resident Evil 2, it doesn't matter which order you play for the most part. Hmm. So <laughs> that that'll be that'll be a thing. That'll be like Chaz. What do you feel like doing? I want to be Barry. <laughs> That's a. Uh, Revelations 2. Oh, you can actually play as him? Yeah, Revelations 2. Oh, cool. I guess you also have Resident Evil Gaiden. Well, that's one of the two Resident Evil games I have. Played. But Resident Evil Gaiden got uh, unofficialized. It's not canon. Well, is the other one I played canon? Uh, which one is that? Oh, Operation. Umbrella Chronicles? No, that's not canon either. No, Operation Raccoon City. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. I, I mix those two names up all the time. Yeah, Operation Raccoon City. No, that's not canon either. Oh, so I've played no canon games. You have not, but you've seen you've seen the remake, which for the most part I think is canon. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I mean, it it is. It is. It sort of gets weird with the second game, but you know, go into that when we play that. So for every. For all intents and purposes, this has been Resident Evil. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Chaz, do you have any thoughts on the matter? I never got my birthday party. Happy birthday! What's my birthday? Because it's right before my birthday. <laughs> Ch Chaz, get happy. Look, you got. here's your present. It's the key. The closet Thank key. I'll take it. I'll all take right. it. All right. Later, everybody.